are watching the Grace and Andrew Yang show tonight, we go out to Fibo Chicago Poet Fax Machine Douglas. Uh, Fax, you reported that you almost got ran over by a former teen auto, uh, Lindsay Lohan. That's true. When exactly did this incident occur? Was it before or after Mean Girls? Well, I'm no Lohanologist, but uh, it was in June of 2005. So, when was Mean Girls? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Is that a TV show or a movie? Your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Oh, Shyla, you should do your research. You should you should know all these things. I don't do research. My reporters do that for me. That's why I pay them and I hire them. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, everyone's short staff these days, so. Exactly. But um, I remember facts in 2012 when Lindsay allegedly drove into the rear of some dump truck while on her way to shoot some video movie thing called uh, Liz and Dick. Oh, right. I mean, is that some porno film? Uh, I think so. Okay. And was she already into those type of films when you uh, almost got ran over by her? No. I, uh, I'm, stri I'm strictly quality. Oh, okay. If it's high class, I'm there. If it's low class, I am there. Facts, on a serious note, how serious do you take Miss Lohan for an actress? Are you a fan of her acting? Mm, no. No? No, I, that would have to be a, a resounding no. Anyway, back to the incident at that moment when you knew that Lindsay Lohan of all people was behind the wheel and you almost literally became roadkill. Uh, how did that make you feel, Fax? I don't know if I want to talk about it on the air, Shyla. I mean, it's very, it's very personal. I mean, does she even look back at you in the rear view mirror? Well, I didn't know it was her till later. So she just uh, sped off into the sunset. All, all I, I think she sped off on sunset. Huh? Uh, it, it just so happened. Uh, it was my first trip to Los Angeles, and uh, I had become instantly fond of the In and Out Burger that is right by uh, Hollywood there. And uh, that day was a glittering premiere for Herbie Fully Loaded, which sounds like a porno movie. But it was a, a weak, uh, a weak sequel to the Herbie Volkswagen franchise. Uh, I don't know. She was into race car driving. No, but I heard she was a neo-Nazi, oh. and that the uh, when it when it involved Volkswagen, she instantly got interested. So. I think that's how she got uh, it. Wasn't Volkswagen like an English kind of thing? No, it was a uh, a German car uh, designed in the Third Reich and named by Hitler. 
Because I thought that was the Rolls Royce. That's what we were talking about. Or the Bentley. No, they did that car wash song. Car wash. Not talking about the car wash. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Rolls Royce song. This is three decades later. Anyway, back to the incident. Uh, were there any noteworthy injuries sustained by you? No, if I'd known it was Lindsay Lohan, I might have allowed myself to get nicked at least. Uh, what does that mean? That means I could have allowed it to like brush against a hand or something and have a minor injury so I could get in the papers that way. Oh, so you did not have to be picked up by an ambulance, I assume. No, unfortunately, or fortunately and unfortunately. So given what you said, uh, even, I mean, she was already a reckless driver back then, I assume. Well, the reason I knew it was her was uh, I happened to read that she was so angry that her song wasn't used for the credits of the movie that she hopped into one of the Pink's Volkswagens and uh, sped away at top speed. It was and that bad, huh, the song? What? It was that bad, her song? I guess. They didn't use it. Huh? And they cut it without telling her. Woo! And uh, I guess that was all she could stand. And uh, she sped away somewhere, but in, the, in speeding away, she almost ran me over. Hmm. I... It sounded like she never cared. No, she didn't stop to see if I was all right, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Maybe she thought I was Steven Spielberg and uh, she was angry. She thought it was his fault somehow. Well, I mean, he's never casted her in any fight. See, there you go. So on the topic of Lindsay Lohan, uh, where she allegedly has this long, mile high, winding rap shade of sleeping with a bunch of talentless, A-list Hollywood gigolos, and allegedly being arrested no less than 20 times on charges of grand theft count reckless driving and several counts of DUI driving under the influence slash violation of probation. Do you think it's safe to say that her crimes free only got worse over time? Uh, yes, I agree with everything you said. Because I remember facts when Lindsay Lohan was allegedly arrested that one time for grand theft after stealing some necklace uh, from some Venice store in Italy or something like that after she tried to get away. Do you think that she got arrested because of the cameras or was it because she just wasn't quick enough? Because she sure got away in your case. She did, but then the necklace didn't hop away at the last minute like I did. Hmm. So knowing how many times Lindsay has appeared before the court pleading her case and knowing that she spent time doing hard time in the stony lonesome, you'd think that she would have learned to listen by now. Like, maybe go to driving school? Well, maybe she has since then. I don't know where she is now. Is she in jail? Your guess is as good as mine. 
do you believe facts that she might have been traded like former cops behind bars as any normal person would try not to end up in jail maybe she was acting out uh you'd find she do all the acting now on set of one of her lousy films that I've never seen. Well, some people are better at, some people are more talented at bad things than good things. So she seems to be the former. So are you saying facts that she is not talented, I assume? No, yeah, I'm saying she's she's just simply bad, like a bad piece of fruit. Oh, and, like a rotten fruit. Yeah, like a rotten piece of fruit really doesn't have a good side. All you can do is throw it away. Well, you know, I mean, fruit flies like to breed in them, so. Oh, uh, yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, and do you Maybe. find that there, you know, fruit flies like to surround Miss Lowen? Uh, maybe. She's always talking about, uh, damn pests who keep trying to take her pictures. Maybe those are the fruit flies. See? They're pretty pesky. Yeah, okay, I get it. I mean, as far as I suspect, in her mind, She's probably thinking that she's this big pop diva. Uh, she's probably like, I don't need to impress. I'm Lindsay. Don't you know me? That I'm could a be. star. Yeah, maybe she was afraid if she had any talent, she would lose what fans she had. So... Knowing that uh, she is well known, how did it feel for you to have nearly been run over by such a big star at the time and not get any press on it? Hmm? It, 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 it was terrifying. I not mean, having press write about you is about the worst thing that can happen to a person yeah i so, mean you couldn't even claim a single cent from insurance facts. that's right how did that make you feel the next time i see a pink volkswagen try to run me over i'll at least let it run over a toe or something so i can claim some compensation So do you regret not getting harmed by Lindsay? Sometimes if I had been hurt by Lindsay, we would have had a special bond that no one could have taken away from us. You mean in jail? Uh, no, not that kind of bond. Uh, just, uh, uh, she would have been the herder, I would have been the herdy, and no one could have taken that away from us. As oh, it is I now, we just have no connection. You know, if I was hurt, I might have been in the hospital, and Lindsay might have come with a, a dozen roses and a nice card to see how I was. And we would have learned that we had so much in common, and maybe even have become friends i mean what do you have in common with lindsay well i'll never know that will i because we never met well i mean like she's a successful beautiful pop star okay who starred in several well acclaimed movies and you are 92 and i don't know what you've achieved in your life thanks that would have all been that would have all been different if only I hadn't foolishly jumped out of the way. So in conclusion, you do highly regret 
not getting run over by Miss Lindsay, even if that meant that you're still alive at 92? Shyla, I find this a highly invasive form of questioning. You know, leave me some privacy, please. I'm sorry, dear. I thought that you might have wanted to tell your story of running into Lindsay, but you know what? I completely understand. Some people don't want to talk about it because they have post-traumatic stress and don't feel like talking about it. So let's talk about Dina Lohan, star of the Dr. Phil show. Uh, Gun Carlo. We're rolling. Are we rolling? Okay. Facts, do you believe that Lindsay might have inherited all her bad habits from her mother? Probably. Because even, I mean, when you say shots of her mom, she's out partying and drinking along with her. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's just hard to say of all the people that are surrounding her uh, and knowing that many of them are using her instead of helping her. And the one person that you think would be helping her is her own mother. But she is out partying along and making a fool out of herself. Well, I just hope Lindsay doesn't have a daughter. Do you think seen... that one of them is enough for any country? That's a good. That's a good way of putting it. The uh, governor, Governor Newsom, can call a state of emergency and force Lindsay to be sterilized. Uh, would you, if you were in, uh, who is that, Governor? Governor, Governor Newsom. Yeah, like, what the state is he California. Governor in? I've never heard of his name before. Oh, California. Oh, okay. And you really think it would go through being how, uh, let's say, liberal, like, California is? He he doesn't he doesn't need uh, anyone's consent. He can just call a state of emergency and force Lindsay to be sterilized, and no one can do anything about it. So that's what I would do if I were governor. I mean, if we could just reduce the number of Lindsay Lowens in California uh, to zero, it would be much healthier for all of us. And uh, since we're all in this together, I feel, I feel Wait, like I since would be when? Doing a favor. What? Since when were we in this together? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's a suspect question, Shyla. Well, just know that I'm not, I'm definitely not with you or any of you. Wow. Do you have a daughter, Shyla? No, I don't. Aren't you sad that no one's going to carry on the legacy? Uh, I'm in the hun I'm 125, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. Oh right, yeah, you'll probably have a few years left. Well, not if Satan has anything to say about that, folks. Who? Satan. Mr. Oh, Satan. that's what I thought you said. The man in the red coat. I thought that was your pet penguin, Satan. No, that's black and white. Oh, okay. So anyway, thank you so much to you, Fox, for sharing your encounter with Lindsay Lohan. Uh,
be sure to join us next time. This is the Grace and Andrew Yang show that you are watching. And goodbye.